You want to know a true hero? A true hero, according to the internet, is the 600-pound slob who gets his stomach stapled so he can't gorge himself to death. According to these children online, that's a true hero there. Instead of a man going on a diet, he gets his stomach stapled, or whatever, so he can't gorge himself to death. That is a fucking hero in today's society. <laughs> In today's society, that is a hero. Yeah, not a fireman, not a police officer, but a slob who staples his stomach shut. That is a hero. <laughs> According to the little children out there. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm amazed by the stupidity of the internet. And the people that are on it 24-7, which are basically children, they're looking at these YouTubers like they're superheroes. My superhero's great. He streams video games. He streams video. He's a beast. My superhero got his stomach stapled. Now he's not as fat, but he's still fat. <laughs> My superhero is a beast. He is so knowledgeable. He's still fat, but he's knowledgeable. And he can eat as much as he wants. He won't get fat because his tummy gets full earlier. <laughs> Embarrassing. What a fucking clown joke, motherfuckers. This society, when I grew up, y'all motherfuckers wouldn't survive. Whole different era. The new era, new generation is fucking flat out pathetic. We live in the generation right now where if you call someone a fat fucking slob because they're a fat, disgusting slob, you're frowned upon. When I grew up, you were telling the truth. You were simply telling the fucking truth. Now, you're made out to be a fucking bad guy. The fat, worthless slob is a hero. He's a hero. He let himself get that way through years and years of eating abuse, but he's a hero because he got a surgery to stop himself from gorging himself to death. Flat out pathetic society we live in today. It's embarrassing. We need to go back to stipulated 80s rules immediately. And all these kids today, they got the internet to play on. They got little phones. We had no phones. Hell, we had one phone in the fucking house. It was a wall fucking phone. You had to sit in that room and talk on that fucking phone. You couldn't lay down. You couldn't watch TV. It was in the fucking kitchen, and that's what you had to watch or talk on the fucking phone. You kids today got it too fucking easy. Consequently, it made you soft. This generation is soft as they've ever come. It's pathetic. And you know that. When I grew up, the heroes were the firemen's police officers. Now it's some fat slobs on the internet playing video games. Well, guess what? 80 stipulation day is back. It's the 80s. No longer 2018, whatever, 19. It's the 80s. We gotta lose that degenerate mentality of the weak being sympathy. Fuck the weak. If you let yourself, if you gorge yourself and turn into a fucking 800 pound slob, then you deserve all the ridicule and humiliatory responses that you're gonna get. Accept it. But Christ, no, no, don't, don't say that. They're heroes. They're heroes. Bruce Jenner, a fucking hero. ESPN declared him a hero. Some 70 year old fucking weirdo in a dress. <laughs> Who dresses like he's a fucking 16 year old fucking uh, high school girl. Talk about, hey, trannies ain't mentally ill? Yeah, I'd say they're mentally ill. Yeah, the motherfucker thinks he's a 16-year-old woman or girl. Bruce Daniel Jenner, what a disgrace. What's his daughters think of him? Probably, well, not probably, you know they're embarrassed by him. They're probably like, look at my daddy's a freak. My daddy's a mentally ill freak. The society we live in today, the internet is ruined. It. These young kids today couldn't survive in the 80s. They'd be swallowed up in a hole. Because they're too goddamn sensitive. Or goggle. Or goggle. Webby 
has you mind fucked. Argago, Webby has you on strings. He's fucking got you on strings like a motherfucker. Webby owns you.